the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hi guys, so I've been reading comments and everyone was requesting the new Spirit Fruit. But did you know that this is just a reworked Soul Fruit? Okay, so this is a previous Soul Fruit, right? Let's compare them. There are some new things, like for example, the Sun in the Cloud, right? Also, the Poison Flower, Puberty struck, and it became a Mushroom. The Lollipop Healer is now a Star. And we have some new friends, like for example, this one, the Flying Pig. How to use this one, guys? <laughs> Oh, one more thing that told from Konoha. This one I was able to use. Shout out to Naruto fans. Guys, let's not forget the stun tree. So guys, you need spirits to summon them. So how do you collect spirits? Guys, now it's different. You just need to wait. Yes. Every time that green bar hits the end of the meter, you will get one spirit. Okay? One more thing. If you use your M1 on the red part of the meter, you will summon those uh, offensive friends of ours. For example, the toad, the stun tree, and the poison mushroom. But if you hit it on the blue side, you will summon our support type friends. Like for example, the healing star. Okay, so I think that's it for the introduction. Let's start grinding. First of the bandits, using your M1 to summon your friend, especially this mushroom is enough to grind the bandits. This fruit is so OP. Oh, by the way, this is how the Kona frog attacks. It uses its tongue. There you go. Okay. Oh, guys, I almost forgot we have a Z skill. The Frost Fire Grasp. Here you go. Okay, guys. So our target level here is level 15. I'm going to show you the stats. Melee, 10. Blast Fruits, 34. Okay, so after that, next up, guys, we're gonna head to Weedletown first and buy one item, and that item is the slingshot, and head to the marine fortress. Yes, guys, we're gonna start slaying petty officers. First, lure them using your slingshot, at least four. Jump on this terrace, and guys, just summon every spirit that you can, okay? Spam, check that out. You can still inflict lots of damage just by using those spirits. And guys, with just one kill, you will level up really fast. Guys, imagine killing four mobs at this level. There you go. Guys, our goal here is Mastery 75. Not level, Mastery 75, so that we can unlock the F skill, the Sky Ruler. There you go. Now, can you guess what is the next island? I will give you 10 seconds to guess. Okay, so what island are we going to grind on next? Please comment it in the comment section. And if you commented Skylands, you are correct. We're going to start defeating Royal Squads. Again, technique, lure them and jump on this house and start summoning your spirits. And you don't need to worry about the damage. We have enough of that. There you go. This fruit is so OP right now that we are killing Level 525 mobs. Yes, guys, level 525. There you go. Oh, let's not forget, we can still use the Z skill to damage the enemies. Our target level here is level 105. Now I'm gonna show you the stats. Melee is 20, defense 25, blocks fruits 270. Okay, next island is the Frozen Village. Target is Yeti. Grinding here is so fun, check it out. The Yeti cannot escape our summons. Our spirits, there you go. So just keep using your spirits and use your Z skill. And that is enough to defeat this mob. So we're gonna start doing server up here. Check it out, guys. There you go. Until you reach level 130. Okay. So once you reach this level, oh, don't forget to buy everything the ability teacher sells air jump, aura, and flash step. I'm gonna show you the stats again. Melee 25, defense 30, block fruits 335. Next up, the Marine Fortress. Our target here is the Vice Admiral. For our strategy, just summon and run around. Okay, there you go guys. Check that damage out. Also, we will be unlocking my favorite skill. Yes, favorite skill of this fruit, the Wrath of Ra. Guys, the damage of this skill is really high. There you go. Target level here is 220. After that, we will now be heading to the North Pole, but not to grind. We're going to buy an item, the Santa Hat. Guys, check the stats. Plus 400 energy health. It increases movement speed by 30% and 
and the most important thing, it increases Blocks Fruit damage by 12.5%. Also Sword, guys. Next island is the prison, and we are going to wall strat all bosses here. Like for example, the Warden, Chief Warden, guys, check it out, I lured them at the same time. All you need to do is summon your spirits and use your ZNX skill to damage them. There you go, after defeating Warden, get the quest of the Chief Warden and start attacking him. There you go. How about the Swan Gamer Gnome? Yes, you're gonna do wall strat too. Just a reminder, you can start defeating the Chief Warden at level 230. Okay? And the swan at level 240. But strategy is the same. Just do wall strat on all bosses. There you go. Okay. So our target level here is 350. Next is the Magma Village. Our target here is the Magma Admiral only. So guys, the strategy is summon and run around. There you go. I'm going to show you a full fight here. There you go. At 2 times speed. It's very easy to defeat. Again guys, don't forget. We are doing server hop here. For our target level, it is 425. Okay, so once you reach that level, oh, stat check first. I'll show it to you. There you go. Melee 125, defense 125, block fruits 1025. Next island is the underwater city. Target the Fishman Lord. So, guys, did you miss the wall strat? For this boss, yes, we are going to do wall strat again. Just run outside, check that out, summon your souls or your spirits, use your Z and X skill for additional damage, and that's it. If you maintain your distance, this boss cannot hit you. Okay, so again, server hop, wall strat, until you reach level 500. After that, next up, Skylands. And our target is the Whispers. Check this out, guys. I can say that not all players are toxic, so I accidentally attack this dude and he just keep on grinding, I mean defeating Whisper. So I waited for my chance to damage it too, to get some experience and there you go guys. Instead of fighting, we help each other, there you go, even though we don't know each other, right? And I accidentally hit him, so thanks bro, there you go. And after that, he just flew away like Superman. Anyways, back to grinding. For our strategy, guys, the stone strat, lure him here. And I'm gonna show you how fast we can defeat the whisper. If we're so lucky enough to summon lots of mushrooms, then killing this will be a lot faster. Also, guys, every time you have a chance to use the axis skill, the Wrath of Ra, go for it, okay? There you go. Oh, we forgot to use the frost fire. And that's it. Guys, 17 seconds to defeat whisper. Is that easy? Yes, I think it's easy. Oh guys, check this out guys, an exploiter, exploiter alert, also we accidentally killed it. <laughs> Again, slow motion, he came from there at the right side and check it out guys, please don't exploit, just enjoy playing and if you're having a hard time, watch GamerNob videos, right? Okay, there you go, check that exploiter out, please report this dude, anyways, we're gonna grind here until 625. For the stats, melee 200, defense 200, block fruits 1475. Final island is the Fountain City. Target here is the Gali Pirates. Check this out, guys. One X skill and Z skill is enough to burst them. Guys, just two skills. Meaning, grinding here is really easy. Again, one X skill, one Z skill. Guys, use X skill first, okay? Also, we're going to unlock the Z skill, the Wrath of Shu. At mastery 250, there you go. We're gonna use it. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna show you the final skill, the end of times after this. So, guys, that's it. We're gonna grind until level 700 here. And for the end of times, I used a different account. There you go, guys. This is skill really looks good. There you go. One more time. Okay, guys. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Numb. And Gamer Numb out.